Hi, this is Katrina from Katrina K Creations, and today I want to talk about one way to get your sewing projects done faster without sacrificing the quality of your work. And this is part one. One way you can do that is by using pattern making software. With pattern making software, you can create patterns for clothes, crafts, or even home decor projects. If you create your own patterns with pencil and paper, or if you create your own patterns from purchase patterns, pattern making software will help you save time and money without sacrificing the quality of your work. You never want to sacrifice the quality of your work, and pattern making software will help you to do things more efficiently so you can spend more time sewing and get more projects done. I use Pattern Master Boutique 5, which is what you see here, by WildGinger.com. And there are others out there, but Pattern Master was the best fit for me. This software costs 225 US dollars, but I have never regretted purchasing this software. So let me show you a little of what you can do with Pattern Master. And I'm going to start by going to the measurement and fit section. What you're looking at now is the measurement chart. Okay, you can enter your first name, your last name, and down here you'll see a list of all the charts that you have. This chart is the measurement sample chart, which was already loaded into the software. And then if you go over here to express fit, these are the measurements that are required in order for the software to generate your patterns. So you, ha of course, have to put in a chest circumference measurement. And if you look to your right, you'll see the picture and the pink line indicates where on the body you are measuring. You'll also see a description, a written description, at the top of the picture. Next circumference, whenever you click into a measurement field, again, it shows you exactly where on the body you are measuring. And also, if you click movies, and you just want a little further explanation of each measurement okay and you click next circumference and play it will give you a just show you a little demo of where you where you're supposed to be measuring okay it just gives you a little explanation so these measurements are required but when you go over here to custom fit, these measurements are optional. So if there's a measurement that you don't want to include, you just simply uncheck it, and then you won't be required to enter anything into that measurement field. And once all of your measurements are entered, then you go over to the top, toward the left, and you save it. So you'll always have your charts so that if you need to make changes or you need to update your measurements you can easily do that just by opening your chart and once you're, you've entered all of your measurements then you want to go to fit garments these are going to show you these are going to take you to the patterns that have been created based on the measurements that that you've entered so let's do that now So as you can see here, it gives you the chart name at the top. We were using sample measurements, so that's what they gave us. So whatever you put in that first and last name, that will appear at the top to let you know whose measurements you're working with, whose measurements these patterns are for. And right now it's showing a dress sloper pattern, the front, the back, and the sleeve. These are the actual pattern pieces. Then underneath, it shows you what that dress looks like sewn. And again, if you look at the top, you see fit garments. These garments are used for fitting. The fit garments are your basic slopers. This is the dress sloper. They have a strapless dress sloper. And again, at the bottom, you can see what it looks like sewn together. A skirt sloper, basic skirt sloper, 
and a basic pants sloper. So these slopers are they're used for fitting purposes. You would make them up in a, in muslin or some other kind of inexpensive fabric just to you know try it on and see how it fits. See what kind of changes need to be made because no software can promise you a perfect fit. So you always want to test your slopers, test your basic patterns first, because these are the patterns that you're going to be making all your other patterns from. So if these fit correctly, then all your other patterns will fit correctly. Suppose you say, well, I don't want to make patterns from basic patterns. If I want a jacket, I don't want to have to go to the dress sloper and make my jacket pattern from the dress sloper. I want to make it from a jacket basic pattern. Well, you can do that. You just click the little arrow by fit garments at the top and you pull up jackets. And this will give you a pattern a jacket pattern based on your measurements again you can still see the chart name so you know I'm still working with you my measurements and here you see a classic jacket pattern and again you see what it looks like at the bottom so you can pick maybe you want a jean jacket this is a basic jean jacket pattern or you want a jacket with a peplum on the bottom this is a these are the patterns and this is what it will look like once you decide on your basic style then you can go into what kind of sleeve you want do you want a pedal sleeve do you want a split sleeve a puffy sleeve okay and it shows you a picture of what that basically looks like and then here's your pattern piece you can choose a collar a dress shirt collar, a mandarin collar, a band collar. Okay, you have a whole list of collars that you can choose from. Or you can choose your pocket. What kind of pocket would you like? Would you like a patch pocket? Okay. And other details. So it gives you a range of choices to create that basic pattern, custom pattern according to your measurements or the measurements of your client and then you can always make changes and I'm going to show you in part two how you can make the changes to that the actual pattern to fit your body your needs so again this is pattern master boutique 5 from wildginger.com and this is one way to get your sewing projects done faster without sacrificing the quality of your work I hope you'll join me for part two where I'll take you into the pattern editor and show you how you can make changes to your pattern. Again, this is Katrina from Katrina K Creations. Thanks for watching.